So when I posted a video on the VLSI uh, skills that you need to become a VLSI engineer, a lot of people posted uh, comments that we need a similar video for embedded system, but uh, we have done a video for embedded system engineer requirements. That is, what are the skills needed for becoming an embedded system engineer previously? But it is kind of an old video. If you want an updated video on that, please post a comment in the comment section. I will be doing that soon. But this video is about fresher opportunities in the embedded system field in India. We are going to see two to three opportunities in this video. Most of them are for freshers and they are not asking for like, you know, uh, any specific experience. And also they have mentioned that if you are having more than one year of experience, you are not eligible. So this is going to be a really, really uh, useful video. Please keep watching till the end. You will get to know also what is the requirements, what are the skills needed. Everything we'll get to know if you want to become a embedded system engineer. That is a thing. Okay. And uh, this is also a kind of an embedded system testing job opportunity. So that is also applicable in this video. Please keep watching. And if the videos are useful, please consider subscribing. So let us jump into the video. Let us jump into the content of the video. The first one is graduate training, electrical and electronics. It is also an embedded system based uh, company. They are embedded based. Uh, they are having embedded based opportunity. We are seeking for uh, a motivated entry level electrical and electronics engineer to join our innovative product design team. The selected candidate will be playing a crucial role in the uh, in developing and implementing of PCB hardware, wire harness, system architecture, etc. Responsibilities is collaborate and design team to define requirements for new products. Design and implement PCB hardware. As I said, it is a hardware related opportunity and wire harness to meet project specification. Select and integrate appropriate system architecture. Define and implement test procedures. Conduct testing and validation of electronic components. Participate in end of line testing. Work with electrical and electronic circuits, support product assembly and testing uh, process. So, as I said, it is also an embedded testing based opportunity. Okay, requirements is good aptitude, communication skill, problem solving skill, fluent in English, multi language, uh, multilingualist preferability to work effectively, good presentation skill, should be able to travel for business purpose, proficiency in circuit and PCB design. Knowledge of the product development life cycle, knowledge of embedded architectures is required because it's an embedded based job. Experience in EOL testing um, and inward quality control process. Knowledge of creating analog and digital circuits. Expected qualification, bachelor degree or master degree with minimum 7.0 CGPA. Uh, disciplines, that is which are the areas which are the branches not areas branches that are eligible electrical electronics power electronics embedded system electrical uh, electronics engineering freshers are eligible to apply please read that carefully maximum total experience not exceed one year everything they have given starting six months it will be thirty thousand. then um for masters bachelors it is twenty five thousand. Okay, this is just six months salary. After that, it is converted to full time, full scale payment. If experience salary is negotiated at the interview, after training and evaluation, it is converted to full time. Medical insurance coverage is uh, applicable for the employees. That's a good opportunity, right? Let's move to the next one, which is embedded uh, related, core embedded related. That the other one was also embedded related. This is also embedded related. This is also graduate trainee embedded firmware development. The other one has hardcore, uh, what was that, hardware. This is software. But it is also con uh, embedded testing related opportunity. Understand project requirements and translate them into firmware. Uh, firmware means it is uh, software. Okay. Update software, uh, system architecture design, develop communication protocols, UART, SPI, I2C. Conduct unique testing, as I said, testing based job. Facilitate application test. Uh, to ensure the compatibility, facilitate application testing to ensure the overall functionality, coordinate uh, user acceptance testing, collaborate closely with cross functional teams, including hardware engineers, document firmware design specifications, stay abreast of emerging technologies. 
good technical aptitude and communication skill is required problem solving skill fluent in english multilingual is preferred ability to work effectively good presentation skills should be able to travel for business proficiency in python ability to read and understand electronic circuit familiarity with embedded uh, electronic circuits familiarity with embedded development boards uh, controllers uart spi i2c can ble bt knowledge of electronic systems electrical systems uh, yep again the same uh, requirements almost the same requirements like bachelor degree master degree uh, both are preferred uh, seven cgpa is required so if you want to get into core companies you need to have minimum six cgpa i would say not seven is not mandatory but some companies ask for seven some companies uh, also consider people with six and above but here it is seven computer science is also preferred here because it is like a firmware uh, development kind of a job so computer science it electronics and communication electric and electronics so the uh, brand requirement is little bit uh, different not the same freshers are eligible maximum total experience one year not more than that salary and everything is uh, the same for the previous one yes so if you are interested please apply for this let's move on to the last opportunity we are going to see in today's video so the company's name this is this company is grenzine technologies kind of a startup company but it's a hardcore electronics automate automotive kind of a company this company's name is trionic zone trionic zone carriers design engineer embedded systems okay position design engineer embedded system uh, is the position uh you need to have like one plus year of embedded systems fpga based project experience uh hardcore electronics excellent programming skills c c plus plus controllers very long vhdl i am telling you if you want to do uh embedded based job you need to learn vhdl you need to learn very long either of this whether vhdl or very long if you want to do a vhdl coding uh basic certification it's available in udemy you can check that good hardware software testing uh debugging skills bb tech mem tech good amount of free uh, of core experience must have completed good number of embedded system based projects in 8 16 32 microcontrollers good knowledge of the tools c cross compilers this is also testing based embedded job okay good hardware design knowledge is a big plus handle big uh, both big and small project must be able to handle high work pressure and uh, tight deadlines yes so one plus years of uh, experience you need to have They're, they are not looking for freshers as such so that's all for today's video all the links in the description go through the links you will get to see the requirements also soon i will be posting a video in which we'll be discussing like what are the skills needed which are the companies hiring what are the job roles for embedded systems engineer in 2024 so please wait for that video in the meantime uh, watch the videos that is already uh, on the channel there is a lot of information included in many videos so keep watching if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing thanks for watching and keep on watching